Hey guys, I'm Dom Nolter and welcome back to another Bounties Guide. Today we're going to be looking at the J Bounties. These are the bounties that were included with the guns. And recently there's been a new update. Some of you know this, there's the new raid mission. But not only that, they've changed some of the bounties. Different rewards and as far as I know, the same missions. Now I'm going to be talking about what kind of bounties you should do, what missions you should do, and as well as what rewards you can get now as opposed to before the update. And there are also some new rewards. I'm going to talk about how you can get those and the best way to do them and what they do. Now before we start actually doing these missions, I want to give you guys a few tips. Now the first one being is that when you do these missions, you want to do them on easy. Because there's no benefit whatsoever to doing them on hard or even nightmare. So just to save yourself some effort, do them on easy. And the second tip is that if you're on console, PS4, PS5, Xbox, there's this trick you can do where you skip forward the days and the weekly bonus will restart. As you know, each mission will give you a weekly bonus and you can only claim that per week. But if you're on console, you can go to your settings, go to your date and time, and then set it manually and skip forward like a week. And that'll restart the timer. That way you can get the weekly rewards every time you do each mission. Now starting off the missions, there are two types of missions. There's the normal and then there's the elite. Now there's a big difference between these, mainly difficulty. The elite is obviously more difficult, but the rewards are also very different. Now in normal, the rewards will give you RP, which will help you level up with J so you can get new rewards and stuff. And the elite won't give you any RP at all, but you will get a lot of tokens. So that's mainly the only difference between them. Now I'm gonna be showing you guys what missions you should do in order to have fun, all right? Because obviously this game is all about having fun and not just grinding all day. But if you wanted to grind and simply just get through the levels and get the tokens, I recommend doing the toxic work environment on repeat. I'm going to be showing you guys how to do all the missions. Not all of them, just mainly the ones that you, I recommend. Now going down the list on the missions you should and shouldn't do, starting off with the priceless, I'd recommend doing it. It's fun, it's easy, and if you've got a friend with you, you'll get this done fairly quickly. Highway Star is also a good one, but you know, I'd say it's 50-50 on whether or not you should do it. It is an easy one, but it does require you to be quite fast with the paraglider and the grappling hook and whatnot. Fairy tale endings, do not ever do it as a waste of time and just anything that involves you having to guard something for a while, it's just not really worth the time. Roof Awakenings, this one is, like I wouldn't personally do it, but you could do it also if you wanted to, if you wanted to change it up a bit and add a little bit of variety, but I personally would not do it. VNC Tower Elevator Pitch, uh, this is probably the most useless one, this one takes way too long and just the rewards are not worth it. Firestarter. This one's amazing. Probably one of my personal favorites. It's easy, it's fun, and you get to face a little boss. It's all just fighting. It's all based on how fast you can kill people. Toxic Work Environment. This one's the easiest one and the quickest. You can do this pretty much in like less than two minutes or even less than a minute and a half if you're fast enough. Fast Food. I recommend doing this as well. It's pretty fun. It doesn't take too long. And it'll help you keep doing these challenges without having to get bored. Now, this may sting is the worst one. You don't get to use your own gear, it takes a while, it's more difficult, and you really need all your friends to help you play this one. Now, moving on to the bounties themselves, I'm only going to be talking about the ones, or telling you guys the ones that you should do, and anything that I don't mention, just don't ever do it. So, you might want to write these down, or just take a screenshot right here. Now, the first one, alternative methods. This is where you defeat enemies during survival missions with traps or the environment. You'll pretty much be doing this anyway, so might as well do it. Experience Survivor. This is where you do 10 survivor missions, and this one's pretty easy, so might as well do it. Off with their heads. This is where you decapitate 40 enemies. Mission Demolition. This is where you kill three demolishers. You'll find this in the Priceless mission. I don't really remember if you can find them in any the other missions, but if you're doing the Priceless one, do... Except this bounty. Hard Charger. This is where you kill four chargers. You could do this, but you don't really have to. I mean, it's 50-50 on whether or not it spawns on some of the maps. Or on some of the bounties, the missions. It can spawn on the priceless one, but I'm not sure about the rest. So, you could do it. If, not, if you find yourself struggling, then just forget about it. Edge Case. This is where you kill ten enemies with fall damage. You're going to be doing this anyway, so might as well accept the bounty. Fast forward, finish fast food mission in under 10 minutes. If you're doing the mission, accept it. If not, leave it. 
Rock the Dome. Now this one I'm not quite sure. It says land a headshot on a demolisher. And I don't know if it's just one headshot or if you need to kill the, him with a headshot. So give it a try. If you do the priceless mission, you'll find him easily and shoot him in the head. If it doesn't accept it, then just cancel the bounty. Where others fall, complete priceless survivor mission. You're going to be doing this a lot, so accept the bounty and you'll get some easy points. Now lastly, we have the Hope Plaza Tower raid mission. And as you can see on screen, this is what you'll get for completing it. I'll show you guys exactly what else you get in a different video. I'll do another video where I play it and show you guys how long it takes and what's it in the chest and all that. Or you guys could check out my live stream. I also did it there, but I'll be doing a more in-depth video soon. So yeah, that's it. I'm just going to let you guys watch me do some of these missions and you can see how easy they are. But that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you found stuff coming back. And do let me know if you guys want more of these. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Supplies are currency in Villador, but getting these won't be easy. We need your skill to get them, and it should buy us another set of eyes and ears. Head to the highway overpass and expect a lot of infected.
peacekeepers want a rooftop cleared for a work crew. Having a PK on my side might prove useful. More so if they think I'm on theirs. Objectives achieved. An efficient job once again. There's a weird sort of pyro cult growing nearby. It's making my contact nervous. Put the fire out before it spreads, please. Oh! <laughs> 
protecting people, Aiden. Nice work. The antidote to entropy, Aiden. You bring order back from the chaos. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not